So now you've got basically a working program um, that checks all of your variables and adds up your total if it works, um, if you've got a one for each of your variables. Now, the next step is, if you've tested this, you might have spotted a mistake, which is that if I start typing ones and zeros, so let's go for zero, one, one, zero, that'll take us up to there in the program, and my total will then display here. When I start the quiz again, problem is my total stays where it was from the last run. So what we need to do at the very start of the program, just after the green flag, is in data, set your total back to zero. And we can now refine it even further by, well, let's watch how that works. I'll put the green flag and it'll run that, and my total goes back to zero. Another thing you can do at the end is if you go to looks again, you can say and then what we're going to do in operators is join your total is space or your number is rather and then in data I'm going to drop in that total value so your number is and then it'll tell you what the total is or the cat will tell you what the total is at the end so if we click the green flag let's try it again how many ones are there in so let's go one zero one one and your cat tells you I'm going to put that on screen for a little bit longer now, you might think why when we've got the total here, but what you can do is you can hide by taking the tick out all your variables. So it looks like your cat is performing a magic trick. One, one, zero, one. There we go. Now, a little extra extension challenge task for you is to figure out how you would adapt this program and how you would basically lengthen it to to add more bits to your binary number so could you extend this program to turn it into an 8-bit calculator off you go and have a go and good luck